sometimes you gotta stay in And you know where I live Yeah, you know what we is Sometimes you gotta stay in, in Welcome to my house Baby, take control now We Okay, guys, and we're looking at the theorem. This was, of course, like I said, designed by j -Bo, inspired by Suck My Mod. Um, he wanted something that was more single coil design, I guess. Um, something that could get really, really good flavor off. Still be rebuildable, but still be sort of a tank in some sorts. And uh, j -Bo went to work, man. j -Bo was putting out some good shit, like... The Relo RX200, which I love with this because he put the fucking O-rings the same color. And it, uh, I'm going to put it on here after I get her juiced up again and show you everything. But I think it's time to go down and dirty with this beautiful, beautiful mod called the Theorem. Theorem Atomizer, your authentic scratch code, designed by Jabo and inspired by Suck My Mod. I've all I've always loved that uh, that cover art or his profile picture, or I mean whatever you want to call it, his title. It it just looks really nice. But this box, you know, it's not cheap, but it's simple. Like it's just a nice hard plastic cover and then you just rip your bottom seal off and it flips right open and you are greeted by a lot of things actually we're gonna just put her down we're gonna start with the goodie bags in your goodie bags it'll come with your allen key we will talk about what this is you will see and it comes with another set of o-rings it would have been really cool if you would have done them in a different color, but not saying I don't love this color, because of course I do, because it's the color of the mod I got, but, you know, you should have inquired maybe some different color ones, but I mean, not a big deal, of course. And then here you got your replacement notch coil. This is what I was super excited for, guys, was this notch coil, because it's very wide diameter but it's all one single piece it's not even like a coil I, I mean I wish my phone would dial in guys but it's just being a piece of shit right now but it's just like a straight piece and it's got all these lines cut into it and they have them pre-bent as you can see there, there's a bend. Right there, there's a bend. So it's you can just put it straight in. And it's already centered straight into your post, which is super nice. But yeah, I was super excited for these guys. Um, even though they're uh, the one I have in right now, or I had in, um, was, um, fuck, I forgot, guys. Okay, it was, uh, point two ohms and you can only push it to about 50 watts 55 watts I'd say maybe 60 but 55 safely but it fires really well at that but it's just so much surface area that I just wouldn't want to go past that of course so you come with a replacement glass and then it comes with this cool glass slash stainless steel uh, cover instead of just straight glass and it has the same design as the notch coil has on it it's super springy so I mean even if like uh, for some reason your tank might uh, be a little shorter or something it'll it'll squeeze down but yeah it has the same design as the notch coil has on it which I thought was really cool. Um, it would have been nicer if maybe he would have went up a little farther or went down a little farther. Just because it's kind of hard to see your juice in there. I use this one all day at work with this cover. And uh, it's nice for like a stealthy kind of thing. Or I wouldn't, I guess I wouldn't say stealthy. I'd just say uh, 
like low pro it doesn't look like uh, any anything crazy it just looks like a regular tank I mean it's just stainless steel nobody would probably think anything of it but when you have the actual tank it just when you look at it you're just like whoa that's crazy like that's why I loved it the first time I saw this thing when he first uh, Matt first released his video with uh, him and J Bo talking about it and then he actually did a review on it it was just a crazy looking tank and I wanted it and that was probably about a month ago and it just released at my vape store um, he told me yesterday I went in there he's like the earth we're getting theorems tomorrow woke up this morning like five minutes before they opened um, got dressed and everything called him and was like you got theorems and he was like yep I got them ran in there and uh, picked up the first one I ever bought from that store so this is the first one from that store but here it is guys And you guys are probably thinking, what the hell the fuck does that work? Okay, so I'm going to think the best way is I'm going to dive into actual front view so I can get my, uh, maybe get my zoom to work. And, uh, we'll go from there. Now, guys, this thing is just, when I first saw it, I was like, whoa. What is that thing? Okay, so that's your build deck right there on top. You got this section down here for like an RTA Jenny style and then you got this weird like peak insulator that says J-Bo you're like okay so it's only made for single coil but it's got two negative posts and a huge positive T post and as you see like there's some big holes big 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 holes in there but we're gonna look at that in a second first we're gonna kinda look at the outside You've got a glass drip tip Pretty, pretty snug on there. Glass drip tip. With like stainless steel bottom. Fits in there beautifully. But you take this off. And you can just twist this top piece. And there's this ring on top. Now what could that be for? Boom. And it changed. Boom. Okay, guys. As you see, this was the original one that was on it. And this is the other one from that baggie, if you remember earlier. Now, as you see here, that's your airflow. You got the one going over, over your coil. That makes sense. But where's the other one coming from? Well... This Delrin piece right here has an L-shaped hole that blows into the back of your coils, which is pretty cool and we'll look at in a bit. But I just wanted to show you that you could pick between the double or single airflow. Okay, so like I said, you can switch out either one. You kind of hold that bottom ring because that's it, and then you just screw on the top. And after you screw down about three times, it, it shouldn't move, so you can just tighten it down real quick. But we're going to take this thing apart now. That's your top piece. The glass on the bottom is quite snug. Drop and chip. Okay, so we're going to look at the deck first. As you see, it's got some pretty thick... Pretty thick negative posts there. Come on. Stupid phone. There we go. It's got some pretty decent room to where you can put some pretty, pretty decent builds in this thing. They're pretty big. Then your tank section on the bottom. I do believe this unscrews, but I'm, I don't feel like messing with that. But then, of course, you got your tank. And your glass piece. Or, of course, you can switch out for this one. Which you just put... I put it up this way. 
so you can see your juice flow but you can do or the juice but you can flip it the other way so you can kind of like see the coil I guess and then we're gonna switch to the top cap as you see there's that hole right there that runs through through this up to the top it says J bow right there And I mean, it's a, a pretty simple piece, guys. It's pretty, pretty unique and pretty simple. Everything clips into place. There you go, back to... A lot of people are calling it the Jenny style, but the Jenny style, I'm used to you, like, you have to drip it every so often to get that juice, but... Um, with the wick in this, as long as it's not touching the bottom, like I literally have it like a centimeter from touching the bottom, if barely any of the cotton is touching the bottom, and it's wicked great all day. Um, you don't have really any leaking issues because there's no bottom airflow, it's all through the top, and it works quite good. Usually, that top airflow kills flavor, not when the coil's this close, guys. The coil is literally, I can see the notch coil clearly from the bottom of this thing and that's where con comes in you get spit back every once in a while it's not very often and it's super very subtle like you'll take a hit and then you'll kind of feel it on the side of your lip and you just kind of like wipe it off and I mean it doesn't happen every time but it happens usually uh, once I've used it like a couple times like I'll take like my third puff and I'll get it and then I'll take a couple more and then I'll get it again like it's just random it's not that big of a deal for me anyways it doesn't bother me all that much because I used to use the other old school ones where it like literally spat juice in your mouth constantly and you just kinda got used to it but as you see, I got it on my Relo RX200, and with those matching rings, it is just oh so beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous. I have the uh, dual airflow ring in right now, so I have airflow coming down onto the coil and back up, and the other one in the peak insulator down going to the back of the coil and back up. I got her filled up. Of course, I got her filled with my Ozark vaptorium strawberry peach lemonade because the shit is delicious and this tank does a great job of working it so we'll look at the specs this notch coil is sitting at exactly 0.2 ohms like i said i got her at 50 watts at 3.6 3.16 volts As you see, I do have my fans running, so the vapor production isn't great. It's pretty decent, but isn't great. But, of course, this is a flavor tank, but you do have the option for dual horizontals, which I think it was fate that I still have two of these triple twisted Clapton wires perfect for, like, I'm sure I could do like a five wrap and fit them both in there. But I probably won't do that until I kind of get sick of this coil, which I'm sure it'll happen because I'm a cloud chaser at heart, guys. I do like my flavor chasing, but I'm cloud chasing at heart. But, guys, that's the theorem. Actually, one more thing. I almost forgot, guys, how you fill it. It is top fill, and I didn't show it. But on this side where this comes out, there's a little plug. Okay, and that's plugging a little hole, and that's where you fill it. You just drop your dropper in there. If you don't have one long enough, just aim right for it and squeeze, and it should just go right in. And then you just take your top, pop it back on. But yeah, my only my only con, guys, is the spit back every once in a while. It's about the only thing. But okay, guys, now we're out. This is Vapors 001. Hide your mods and hide your tanks because I'm vaping everything up in here.